Good morning! It is September the 3rd, 2021. Welcome to Jake's Bounty! Alright, I'm in my room. Let's do this. Alrighty, thank you very much for tuning in to... Jake's Bounty, I am your host, Jake Hernandez. It is another glorious day, a Friday. So if you guys have the three-day weekend, good for you. It's Labor Day weekend, all right? Well, let's go ahead and also thank my sponsors today. We got a new t-shirt on by Joseph S. Stein, making me look so, so fine. Just $10.99, all right? Do the same for you, all right? We've also got... Um, these nice friends uh, Central Perk uh, mug right here. This one's chipped, so it's only three ninety nine. Good things, all right. Well, I can get it right now. Jigs Bounty. Make sure I wash it before I give it to you. And also, I want to thank the music today that was provided by once again Alice Cooper uh, from the album Killer. This is the title track Killer. We'll perform it. We'll hear more from it later on. Blah. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the news. Um, bad news. Former WCW and TNA women's wrestler Daphne Unger passes away at age 46. Uh, this comes after a live suicide video she made on uh, September 1st. And uh, very, very many people were uh, afraid and scared of what she was going to do next and ended up having the cops do a welfare check. Unfortunately, uh, well, this she passed away and uh, she wants her brain donated to the CTE um, research so uh, we'll give you a little more information when we have that uh, she started in 1999 in WCW and retired in uh, 2011 uh, before that she had a match with Rosie uh, a lot of love very big woman and didn't very uh, didn't wrestle very well uh, did protect Daphne made the moves and was very stiff and I think she uh, had many injuries from that including a uh, concussion at the very least so um, we'll bring you more news on that one when we have it a fire displaces family and destroys home in Fresno County uh, this happened in Elkhorn Avenue near Fowler Avenue west of Kingsburg uh, I used to drive all by there all the time when I used to get high and shit back in the day yeah, that was in Kingsburg at 4.30 a.m. Everybody was able to escape. Only one suffered minor burn injuries, all right? A man injured in downtown Fresno shooting. 13 rounds uh, went off, and they were at uh, the shot spot or whatever, so the cops responded to it. It was near Ventura and C Street. They were looking for two suspects. The victim was shot in his legs. Uh, unknown motive. Uh, any info, and if we have any updates, we will let you know, all right? Valley Man faces charges for involvement in uh, January 6th Capitol Riot. This happened. Um, ben Martin uh, arrested for six charges, including obstructing law enforcement and impeding official proceedings. Uh, he had been previously arrested for leading an anti-mass demonstration back in January. A woman in her 60s was hit and killed, uh, not killed, excuse me, was hit by a motorcycle uh, while crossing the street in northeast Fresno. It's happened near Cedar, Cedar and Shaw all right, Avenue. Uh, she was not in the crosswalk and the motorcyclist hit her. And he was cooperating with the police and no alcohol or drugs uh, were a factor. Okay? So, uh, that is the news. Let's go ahead right now and get to some trivia. Alright. Trivia. Let's see what I have in the old trivia. Okay, did that one. Did that one. I don't think we've done this one. Alright. We have, excuse me, what season is it? What's the name of the episode? What are Chandler and Joey doing in this episode? 
Alright, right there. Bam! Take a little thought in your head and there we go. The answer, what season is this? It's season two. And the question, what name of the episode? It's the one with the baby on the bus. And what are Chandler and Joey doing in this episode? They're babysitting Ben. They're not doing a very good job of it, by the way. But, uh, yeah, that's a great episode. It's classic. Uh, try to meet women with a baby, and it all goes wrong. All right? Well, I do have a little poem I was going to recite to you. It's uh, called Toilet Baby. That's uh, uh, from the band Hot Licks. So here we goes. Where did you go? You missed your spotlight dance. I thought you had to take a dance. Excuse me, let me try it again. Where did you go? You missed your spotlight dance. I thought you had to take a deuce. Turns out your shit was a kid. Now you're trying to flush it and hold down in the toilet lid. She had a toilet baby. Oh, 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 she had a toilet baby. There's at least one every year. Toilet baby, toilet baby. You know, your daddy doesn't give a fuck. He's getting out of here. It was nine months ago when it all started. He charmed her his way into her heart and her pussy. Holding back all his farts, told her he got her pregnant. And that was her first time, so she didn't think she'd get pregnant her first time. And it blew her mind. She had a toilet baby, a toilet baby. She thought the umbilical cord was his dick. Toilet baby, toilet baby, her dad's a real prick. He's fucking her best friend. And now he knows why it's her best friend. So it's his best friend too now. You're not ready for this. Wherever, whoever this is. You're only 15. Your mama popped you out. Still look like a boy's wet dream. Toilet baby, toilet baby. There's at least one every year. Toilet baby, toilet baby. You know the baby's daddy gonna get out of here. Toilet baby, toilet baby. She thought that umbilical cord was his dick. Toilet baby, toilet baby. Her dad's a real prick. Thank you very much. That was Hot Licks with uh, their song slash poem. Toilet baby. Alright. Hopefully we can hear the uh, music from it later on and have a whole big scope of it. Alright. Tell me what you think in the comments below of Toilet Baby. I kind of like it. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead right now and get into, um, well, it's a little thing I like to call, no, not my penis, <laughs> um, actually, it's, um, the fuck, here we go, Four Out Friday, December's Children, alright, we're way off in the month of December, we're in September. God, what is it? October? Holy shit. It is too close. Alright. Well, December's Children, our mainstream uh, band that came back from the uh, 1970s, uh, late 60s, early 1970s. And uh, they recorded for the mainstream record label. And the indie record label from Cleveland, Ohio, they were from. Both female and male vocals. That's uh, a lot of their songs feel unpolished, but in a good way, including songs like "Back Road Ride," as well as the rockin' "Living Way Too Fast" track, as uh, many other tracks do too. Um, in the band, they have two brothers, including Bruce Balzer, guitar; Greg Balzer on guitar, keys, and vocals; Ron Papeld on drums and percussion. Bill Petey on vocals and bass, and Alice Popovic on vocals, all right? They only have one album. It was a debut album, just entitled December's Children. Ten tracks, came out in 1971. Very, very good album. Sounds a lot like uh, Grand Funk meets uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash. Um, maybe some hints of a, more of a psychedelic nature. Um, but very good rockin' stuff, alright? You can go look at them and go check at them at any music media platform. I said it right this time. Fuck you. Alright, so go ahead and do that at any record store, a CD place, or you guys buy CDs anymore. Shit, I don't know. 
Go check them out on YouTube, Spotify, and any music media outlet. Ah, did it again. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you my cans. Here we go. Let me get up. Uh. All right, so I did okay. I found a full bag of cans, so I can't complain, but I still will. I wish I found more. <laughs> But here we go now. I'll give you a can view right here. I have to open this guy up. Oh, maybe I don't. I'm just probably open the side right here. We got white, white claw lemon. Let's see. Hey, we got Rockstar Energy Drink. There we go. And Mountain Dew. Sunny Pepsi, Cherry Pepsi. I used to like to get those all the way down back in middle school. And Dr. Pepper, all right? Well, let's go back and do the studio. All right, well, hope you guys are going to have a good three-day weekend. Remember to mask up. It's all it's going crazy out there once again. Look at Mickey right there in her ear. Crazy right there. That's how crazy it's going. <laughs> All right. But, um, let's go ahead and say our goodbyes. And, uh, I'll see you on Monday. You guys, well, maybe I'll take Monday off. I don't know. We have to find out. It's a mystery. But, um, you guys be good to yourselves and be good to each other. Also want to thank my sponsors, uh, Joseph S. Stein, and I also want to thank um, Central Perk. Go ahead and get these mugs right now over at Jake's Bounty. Uh, just $3.99, um, you know, because it's chipped, and I'll wash it, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to see you on Monday. Well, the news, my bounty, will have, it happened this day back in music, and we'll have so much more. Hope you guys uh, have a good three-day weekend. And here's some more of Alice Cooper Killer. All right, I'll see you guys Monday. Maybe, maybe have a three-day weekend. I don't know. Have I earned it? Jake's Bounty was filmed at Fornicator Self Records Production 2021. You follow his Facebook, his channel, his website. Give a like. Give that bell. As always, please subscribe. She had a toilet baby, toilet baby, there's one every year, toilet baby.